A lot of Madden players in 23 tend to run man defenses with heavy pressure, one step ahead to have your wide receivers, slot receivers, and they typically will mark the running back out of the backfield manually with their user. So in today's video, I'm going to remind you of a tactic that is really, really important to utilize against players that typically are only expecting you to throw quick to the flat when trying to beat a man blitz. Let's get into it. What is up guys, Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to remind you guys of a tactic that you should be utilizing in your offense to keep your opponent honest when they're running a cover zero or a cover one or even a two man under based defense. All these defenses typically have in common Man coverage is usually a coverage where the user is going to guard the running back while trying to kind of apply pressure. And the reason for that is that typically the running back is left in the backfield to block blitzes, which frees up the man that is guarding the running back to become a freestyle user to help out on slants, post routes, or any other route that your opponent may be worried about. And of course, if the running back runs a route, then the pressure is getting home and those routes that are deeper don't typically have time to develop. But today I'm going to show you guys some ways to kind of expand your route tree it's going to allow you to beat the blitz more quickly than just throwing quick wheels out of the backfield so what we're going to do is show you guys utilizing hot route master how to get a variety of different routes for your running back so depending on the formation you come out in the motion of the running back is going to allow you to do a variety of different things. So take for instance here this formation. This is the gun tight Y off which is found in a lot of playbooks in the game. If you motion the running back out wide he becomes an outside receiver. So that gives you the ability to run a post corner, a fade stop, a post or a corner route which is actually a C route. So what we're going to do right here is let's go ahead and put our running back on a corner route, a little bit of a C route pattern. When we motion this into the backfield he will still run that route to the side of the field that he's aligned on pre-snap. So for this particular play, what we've essentially done is we've been able to create basically a route that goes between the line and breaks out to the corner route out of the backfield. And this is great if you have a little bit of a short and elite because this is going to get you into a spot on the field that typically a lot of players as a user will have no idea where your guy is going. And if it's regular man coverage, he's going to be open either way. If you were to kind of utilize some other routes, for instance, maybe a post route. So you see right here, we can put him on a post, motion him into the backfield, and then kind of clear out the route combo for him. So maybe we'll run off the middle third and we'll just kind of flood the right side of the field. Now, typically skinny posts aren't the best man coverage beating route in the game, but when they run through the line, they do a pretty good job and can get behind man-to-man -man coverage going to the corner. If it doesn't light up, you don't have to utilize it. Not all these routes are gonna be the best, but this is gonna allow you to kind of freestyle. Let's say right here we run a post corner. This has been a route that we've talked about a fair amount because it wins really well on the cut to the outside. So on this, what we're going to be doing is kind of setting up our wide, our running back rather to run what would look like an in route. So you see right here, boom to the in route and then boom back to the out route. You see that he's wide open in the event that we have time to make that throw. So you're gonna have some of these throws. A lot of the outside receiver routes take a little bit longer to develop, which is why I'm actually more of a fan of the slot hot routes, which no better offense to run than my Vikings offense out of the single back bunch, X Nasty. If you guys want to learn my X Nasty, I know it's late in the year and some of you are looking for a change of pace in this year's game, head over to gridirongameplans.gg, my strategy website, where you can unlock everything that I've done all year long for $9.95. That's all my vault updates from August to now. You guys get every offensive and defensive game plan. In fact, I just updated my ability point structure for both my big nickel over G defense and my X nasty offense that you're seeing part of here in this video. And you guys will be able to do what I'm doing here in this video out of that for just $9.95. So let's go ahead and show you just kind of how I'll typically freestyle. So right here, I've got the ability to motion King Henry. And he doesn't have a route ability, but it's not really gonna matter. I'm gonna put him on a little bit of a uh, post route and I'm going to motion him into the backfield. And you're gonna see right here that he's gonna run this route out to the right side, effectively turning it into a slant out. You're gonna see right here, he's going to run through the line, create separation. I can throw it down and outside, click on and catch the ball. So you don't have to have a route ability. You can actually make these as click on catches. They don't typically get broken up. It's really, really nice. The other thing that's great about this is that you could do this motion as a decoy. A lot of times when people see this motion, they think, oh, it's a pass play. And then what you do is you just pull up your audible menu, audible back into a dive, they see the motion back, and now you snap the ball and you're running the ball right up the gut. 
and you see right there that they're probably gonna a lot of times when you go empty pass commit so that's gonna kind of free up the ability to kind of scheme in some run concepts with this as well so you know sometimes these little motion concepts if you just check into a run play after you do the motion you'll kind of shocked at how much better your run game improves because i think it's really just habitual that a lot of players will typically pass commit as soon as they see their opponent motion out now, the best formation in the game to do this out of is far and away, and we've talked about it before here on the channel, the gun split wide receiver backfield. And the reason for that is that we have a wide receiver in the backfield that has this same ability. And you see right here, I can put him on post corner, fade stop, corner, post, all these different routes, right? And I could go ahead and motion him into the backfield. But you notice that the motion left puts him at the outside receiver. The motion right puts him at the outside receiver as well. So you could actually run this with the ability to turn off match coverage, rule of four, and get some pretty crazy little route combos. So let's say right here, we're gonna use a, let's say corner route. We're gonna motion him back into the backfield. Here you see it's gonna flip. You know, again, we're gonna have the same ability. Short and elite should light up on this. We snap the ball, he's gonna run in. He lights up, runs away from his guy. He did bump into a dude right there. That's why it was swatted. But again, right there, obviously you see that the route ability does work on these. So it's, you know, pretty effective. And then of course this particular player can line up at a slot receiver position. So we get some kind of glitchy crosses, uh, post corners, regular slot apprentice routes. But on this side of the field, he lines up as a tight end. So we get tight end corners, trails, posts, crosses, all kinds of crazy stuff. So if I want a really awesome slant out out of the backfield, the best way to do it is definitely to go with the, uh, basically with the corner route. And you see right here that now we got this shape of this corner route that really creates crazy separation again away from man to man coverage. And you can pick up a pretty big game against it. So really, really effective as opposed to this corner route, which is going to light up, but get more separation deep down the field. So rather than kind of the sharp cut out of the backfield, this one kind of gets depth. And you see that in some cases, this can get bagged out of the backfield by man to man. So the varying levels of corner routes, which is something we've talked about here on this channel within the last couple of weeks is really important. So you have the ability to kind of freestyle based off of what your opponent is doing. Uh, you know, if they're playing a man coverage that's good against a skinny corner, the tight end corner is a little bit more useful and vice versa. You know, if they're shading down and outside to defend a short outside corner, that steeper corner is gonna really win over the top. So you can kind of utilize your running back as a better option against the man-to-man -man coverage this way. You also obviously have the ability to utilize wheel routes. You can put guys on routes before you motion out, uh, especially in this situation where you see right here, we should be able to kind of, you know, mix in some, some different route combos. You could obviously, you know, motion them up and then, you know, snap the ball before you motion them back. You know, you can kind of mix up your snap timing. So it's really, really key that you guys should be doing this. You see right here in a situation like this, a lot of times your opponent's gonna think, okay, well, it's a pass play. We audible back in the inside zone. They still think it's a pass play. And we're just doing the motion back. Now we snap the ball inside zone to the outside, catch the corner and 16 yards later, we've got a first down and 10. So utilize this concept to kind of uh, take your opponent off your scent from your main offense. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, feel free to drop those below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and check out Gridiron. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Zan. Get the lab and goodbye.